Hi everyone, my name is Kathy and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this frog using Autodesk Tinkercad. You can make a free account on Tinkercad by going to tinkercad.com. It's super easy to use because you don't need to download any software. Here's a look at what the frog looks like in Tinkercad. This frog could either be part of the chocolate frog box series or just a regular frog. I started out by sketching out this cartoon frog in my notebook. This frog is made out of PLA filament once you print it and made by the great team here at Kira Kira. You could have your design printed just like this one if you submit it to Kira Kira. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this class. Let's get started making. So to begin, go to tinkercad.com, make an account if you don't have one or log in, click on create new design. The first step is to make the body of the frog. That is located in the extras. Select the egg and drag it over to your work plane. And then we're actually going to flip it by 180 degrees so that we have the thicker section on the top. Then we're going to do the eyeballs. Tinkercad has pre-generated geometric shapes. We're just going to grab this sphere, place it on the top of this egg. And to do that, you have to grab this black arrow that shows up at the top of the ball. Move this to the top angle so that you can see where you're placing the ball. And then we're going to make it a little bit smaller because you want the eyes to be smaller than the top of this. And then you can use your arrow keys to adjust the placement. I like where that is, and now I'm going to make the other eye just by copying and pasting this first one so we don't need to redo that whole process. So command C to copy and command B to paste and drag this black arrow so that you can bring it back to the right level. Now you have your eyeballs. You can use these arrows to view all of the different angles of your frog so you can make sure that they're placed where you want them to be. Group them all together. We're going to select the eyeballs and the egg and click on group. Next, we want to make the pupils. Select the sphere again, drag it onto your work plane, hold down shift. We're going to make them four millimeters in diameter. You can use your arrow keys to adjust where they are located. Now we have one of them and then command C Command V to copy and it'll be hidden but you can use the black arrow to drag it up to where you can see it and use your arrow keys to adjust the placement just like we did with the first one. You can use the arrows to make sure that everything is where we want it to be before you group everything together. And the next step, create indents for where the nose will be located. Use the sphere once again. Instead of adding to the original egg, we're going to be subtracting. Click on the sphere and hold down shift. We're going to make this four millimeters. Drag it up where you want the nose to be. Make this nostril is by using the hole tool. And to make that work, you want to make sure that this sphere actually intersects the egg. Click on the sphere and click on hole. You'll be able to see where it will be cutting away. Command C to copy that. Command V to paste. And use your arrow keys to adjust where you place it. You might need to move accordingly. Look at all the angles. We'll group these all together. You'll be able to see the cutout. Those are the nostrils. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing that we just did, except use a different shape to make the mouth. So we're gonna use the round roof geometric shape. All you have to do is drag it to your work plane, turn it by 180 degrees. Drag it up using the black cone and move it to the side with your arrow keys. A way for you to make sure it's in the center is by looking at that black triangle and making sure it's in the center of the nostrils. And you can drag it up some more so that it's closer to the nose. Similarly to how we made the nostrils, we're going to click on this round roof and click on hole so that it cuts a hole in the egg. So to adjust how big the mouth is, you can just drag these arrow keys and you can change the depth of the mouth as well as the width of the mouth. So from the front, I'm going to make 
the mouth a little bit wider and then if you look at it from the side it goes all the way back here to line up with the eyes that's a pretty good depth for me I group these all together and then it'll do the cutting away but if you look at it from the side you'll be able to see that the mouth goes inside Next step is to create a tongue. To do that, we are going to use the round roof again. So drag the round roof here, make it thinner so that it looks more like a tongue. Five millimeters is a good width. And then we're going to use this arrow key right here, adjust the angle by 90 degrees, and then drag it higher, place it near the mouth. So right now it looks like it's in the mouth, but if you actually look from the side, it's not there yet. So we're going to make it a little bit shorter, three millimeters, drag the back so that it's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Now if you look at it, you can see that it actually goes inside of the mouth. And then we can use our arrow keys to adjust the location. Now you can see it's resting inside the mouth. And just like we've done with every edition, Click on all of the parts and click on group. Now we have the tongue. Doesn't really look like a frog yet because we don't have the arms or the legs. Add the arms first. And to do that, we're going to drag this cylinder over. Make it a little bit smaller in diameter. Hold down shift, drag these dimensions six millimeters in diameter. To make them taller, click on this white dot on the top of the cylinder and drag it to 22 millimeters. And then place it right underneath the nostril. And to make sure it goes inside of the egg so that it looks like it's part of the body. Then we're going to copy and paste this leg to create the other leg and make it symmetrical in terms of placement. Now we have our legs. We need to add the webbed feet. So in the extras section, we're going to take this chick foot. It's not made for frogs, but it looks like it could be. To make it a little bit smaller, we want it to be about 12 millimeters is a good size. Drag it over to this leg and place it somewhere where the pole is not visible. You also want to make sure that the pole does not go outward back here. Copy this foot and paste it. Drag it to the other leg exactly how you did the first one. It's okay if they overlap a little bit because that'll just add more stability to your shape. Select both the body and the legs that you just created and click on group. You'll see that your frog now has arms. Now we just need to add the back legs. Now we're going to create the legs to your frog. So we're gonna use the egg shape again to create the legs, the extra section, and drag this egg over. Obviously don't want your legs to be the same size as the body. Hold down the shift key, drag these arrows to make the legs a little smaller, 10 millimeters. You make it a little taller. So click on the shape and click on this, drag it to 24 millimeters. Drag the bottom arrows to make it 12 by nine instead of a perfect shape. Turn the leg upside down. So turn it by 180 degrees and then we're going to tilt it by 22.5 degrees. Make sure it attaches to the egg. And to make the other leg we're going to copy this one and paste it. We need to change the angle to 22.5 in the opposite direction. First bring it back to the regular angle and then drag it again by 22.5 degrees attached to the egg. And then you can view your frog from all the angles just to make sure that the placement is right. And the feet that go on the legs are also the chick feet. Drag this over to your work plane. We're gonna turn it by 22.5 degrees. Drag it backwards into this leg that we just created so that you can't see that pole. Turn your shape around just to make sure that it's hidden. Copy this foot and paste it so that we can create the other foot. And just like we did with the arms, you want to make the foot face the other way and hide it inside the body of the frog. Select all these pieces and group them together. And now you have your frog. I'll show you how to download this as an STL. So click on design and click on download for 3D printing. You want to select .stl and it'll download your file. Tinkercad actually automatically saves all your designs. To view your designs, click on the Tinkercad logo and you'll be able to see all the things that you've made in the past.
and once this loads you'll be able to see our frog there it is awesome congrats on finishing the frog design this is actually a pretty challenging thing to make so good job you can take the skills that you learned in this class and apply it to your own designs or take more classes on Kira Kira's website at kirakira.com. Thanks for watching this video and I hope I see you next time. Bye!